Hey, it's been a long time, has been a very long time. <clears throat> First order of business is passport. I don't have my my Brazilian flag right now in the back because my mom came into my room. This is what it's like living in my mom. This is the fun sense of my life. She came into my room and I had a close screen absent everywhere. Couldn't see my floor. Now it's not hard to see my floor because I have a very, very small room. I can still touch the photon right here and reach across to touch the opposite wall. <coughs> and I don't have an issue with it. It's just inconvenient for me sometimes. Anyway, passport that will take me to Brazil. Not only that, it's been such a long time since we last talked that... Look at this. This is my visa to go to Brazil. This is permission from the country to say, hey, this American can get her ass to South America. You know what this American? Doesn't it make South Americans Americans? Anyway. That's that. This is my my goofy bad passport picture. Anyway, that's that. And it's nineteen days until I go. Yes! I'm very excited about that. I'm actually talking to Becky right now. And after five years, it's been incredible to be here. But I've already talked about this stuff before. But I just wanted to. Oh, yeah, this is new. And I actually shaved my head. Not just cut it short. And then I accidentally gave myself a long haircut. So then I was like, it's really long in the front. And so. Mistake. But. <clears throat> that's all I wanted to say. Just wanted to give an update on my cheap, low quality camera with really gay music playing in the background. The L word soundtrack. <sighs> That's it. I'm going to Brazil soon. I can't believe it's happening. And Christmas is very soon sooner than Brazil. Because they leave two days after Christmas. I can't believe it. the amount of time it is until Christmas. It's fucking right around the corner. But I'm surprised that you know what? Since this is relevant, I'm just gonna talk about this. Brazil is really Catholic and Becky's parent I don't know if they're you know, concerned for her safety, which my mom is too. And that's why she's saying, Throw your hair out before you go there. I can't do that, Mom. There's not a button in the back of my head that makes my hair grow. But Last night I was walking from Prism, which is the queer youth group that I go to, have been going to for almost five years now. Yeah. And we're just walking, my friend Tia, tiny little friend Tia, very tall, skinny, feminine, gay boy, Kevin, and my new friend Pat. And despite his claiming that he's, he's socially awkward, I like him. And we're just walking, and we're talking, enjoying ourselves, enjoying the time that we're spending out in the beautiful, balmy, for December air. A really weird noise just happened, I don't know if you heard that. It sounds like something is hitting my guitar. Which is weird because there's so much in here. Spirituality and believing in this stuff is a different topic. Of. And we were walking and we heard someone shout, like it's a busy intersection. And it's about, I don't know, we just left prison. And we hear something and we stopped talking to hear because we didn't catch what was said. And we hear, you faggots, you fucking faggots. 
and I shot it back. I was just in the mood. I shot it back. Thanks for noticing. Jesus loves you. But, you know, when things like that happen, like, Portland is a very liberal city, but when things like that happen, there's this moment where we laugh at it, because, you know, it's always the more the merrier, like, if you shout that to a group of people, it's much less likely that something's gonna happen. But there's always, you gotta take that minute to wonder after you laugh it off, smile spade, is something gonna happen to me? Because recently, something happened to someone else. Someone was perceived to be gay. Not even identifying as gay. Perceived. And was assaulted. Like, he was in the fucking hospital for it. And, like, Maine has one of the lowest crime rates in the country. And that fucking scares me. Because what else? What is the rest of the country like? If we have all this crime happening here, and it's the lowest crime rate, it's just, it's really something to think about, but, I mean, even in this local city of Portland of ours, there is still homophobia, unfortunately, but, I don't think you can take those moments seriously. Like, you can't shake you off and ruin the rest of your night. Because you're with friends. And whatever happens, we're gonna get them right to fuck back. Tenfold. Fucking know it. And that concludes my video. I'm gonna go listen to Latifah. Enjoy the fact that the painkillers knocked my fucking cramps out of existence for now. And talk to my girlfriend.